The next tech gold rush is here, quantum computing. This isn't just another upgrade, it's a quantum leap that could change everything. Imagine solving problems once thought impossible, from new medicines to global finance. The growth potential is massive, but so is the risk. Early investors could see returns like the early days of Amazon or Google. Today, we'll break down the real companies building this future. Smash that like button, subscribe, and let's dive into the first quantum stock. D-Wave Quantum Inc., ticker symbol, QBTS stands out by focusing on quantum annealing, a practical approach already solving real-world optimization problems. Unlike others chasing universal quantum computers, D-Wave sells actual machines used by major corporations and government agencies. Their advantage system tackles complex logistics, finance, and drug discovery challenges today. With clients like Volkswagen and Los Alamos, D-Wave's commercial focus makes it a compelling, pragmatic bet in quantum computing. D-Wave. Quantum's edge comes from its first-mover status, differentiated quantum technology, and tangible progress in commercial deployments. However, quantum computing remains a nascent, highly volatile sector. Rapid innovation, technical hurdles, and evolving competition will define the path ahead. Investors willing to weather the uncertainty could see transformative gains if D-Wave Quantum's technology reshapes enterprise computing as envisioned. For those seeking outsized long-term returns but with the awareness that picking future leaders in disruptive fields requires deep insight and ongoing research, D-Wave Quantum's story is one to watch closely. A brilliant technology is useless if nobody can access it. D-Wave gets this, so they built Leap, a cloud platform that lets anyone use their quantum computers from anywhere. This quantum-as-a-service model lowers barriers, creates recurring revenue, and builds a sticky ecosystem. Strategic partnerships and integrations help drive adoption. D-Wave isn't just selling hardware, they're building an entire defensible ecosystem. Let's talk numbers. D-Wave is not yet profitable, investing heavily in R&D and burning cash, their revenue is growing but still small, and the company faces a constant balancing act. The biggest risks? Technological disruption and dilution. Raising more capital could shrink your stake. The stock is volatile, swinging with news and results. Investing in D-Wave is a long-term bet, so you'll need the stomach for big ups and downs. The recently delivered a jaw-dropping headline. In the most recent quarter, D-Wave Quantum posted revenue of $15 million, a leap of 509% compared to the same period last year. The company's remarkable revenue acceleration signals a powerful shift. Quantum computing is transitioning from theory to commercial reality, and D-Wave Quantum sits at the frontier of this revolution. Next up, we have Rigetti Computing, one of the pioneers in universal quantum computers. Trading ticker symbol is RGTI. Founded by Chad Rigetti, they focus on superconducting qubits, the same tech giants like Google and IBM are betting on. Rigetti stands out, with a full-stack approach, designing chips, building systems, and developing software in-house. Their own Fab One facility lets them rapidly prototype and innovate, a huge advantage in quantum tech. Rigetti is a pure-play bet on the future of universal quantum computing. Rigetti knows building the world's most powerful computer is pointless if no one can use it. That's why they've embraced a cloud-first strategy, integrating with AWS and Azure to reach massive developer communities. What sets Rigetti apart is their commitment to open source, offering tools like Forest and Quill to empower global developers. Their goal? To be both the Intel inside and Red Hat Linux of quantum computing, owning the hardware and the open software ecosystem. Now, for the cold hard reality check. Rigetti faces a financial situation very similar to D-Wave's but with its own unique set of challenges. As a company focused on the incredibly difficult task of building universal quantum computers, their research and development expenses are astronomical. Keeping their Fab One running, paying top-tier physicists and engineers, and developing successive generations of quantum processors all cost a tremendous amount of money. Consequently, Rigetti is also deeply unprofitable and has a significant cash burn rate. This makes the stock inherently speculative and subject to the same risks of future dilution that we discussed earlier. The competitive landscape for Rigetti is also, arguably, more intense. While D-Wave has a strong hold on the annealing niche, Rigetti is in a direct foot race with some of the biggest and most well-funded technology companies on the planet. We're talking about Google, IBM, and even state-backed initiatives, all of which are pouring billions of dollars into developing superconducting quantum computers. This is a battle of giants, and Rigetti is the smaller, more agile player. Their ability to iterate quickly with their own fab is their key advantage, but they are still up against competitors with virtually unlimited resources, which is a daunting position to be in. When you look at their stock performance, RGTI has been on a roller coaster ride since it went public via a SPAC merger. The stock price has been extremely sensitive to announcements about their qubit count quantum volume, and partnerships, 
as well as to the broader market sentiment towards high-growth, non-profitable tech stocks. An investment in Regetti is a high-conviction bet that their specific technological approach and rapid development cycle will allow them to keep pace with, or even surpass, their much larger rivals. It's a bet on the jockey, Chad Regetti, and his team's ability to out-innovate the Goliaths of the tech world. So, to sum up the risks, you have intense competition from behemoths, a high cash burn rate requiring future financing, and the inherent technological risk that their specific design might not be the one that ultimately wins the race to fault-tolerant quantum computing. This is not a stock for the faint of heart. However, the potential upside is equally massive. If Regetti can successfully execute its roadmap and deliver on its promise of scalable, universal quantum computers, the company could become a cornerstone of the next technological revolution. It's a classic high-risk, ultra-high-reward scenario that defines the cutting edge of the tech investment landscape. Smash that like button, and let's dive into our third quantum stock pick, IonQ, trading under the ticker symbol I-O-N-Q. IonQ is blazing a trail with trapped ion quantum computing, using individual atoms as qubits held in place by electromagnetic fields and controlled by lasers. And this approach means more stable, reliable quantum computers and a clearer path to scalability. IonQ's real-world progress and strong leadership make them a standout in quantum tech investing. IonQ's quantum computers aren't just advanced, they're accessible to anyone through major cloud platforms like Amazon Bracket, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. This cloud-first approach lowers barriers, creates recurring revenue, and accelerates quantum innovation. Strategic partnerships with giants like Hyundai and Goldman Sachs validate IonQ's tech and open doors to real-world applications. For investors, these moves signal IonQ's shift from research to commercial growth, and that's where exponential value is created. Alright so we have incredible technology and a smart go-to-market strategy, but what about the numbers? Let's be very clear, like all the companies in this space, IonQ is not yet profitable, they are still very much in the investment and growth phase, burning cash, to fund their extensive research and development. When you look at their income statement, you're going to see significant net losses, and you have to be comfortable with that. This is a speculative, long-term play, not a value stock you buy for its dividend. You are investing in the potential for this company to become a dominant force in an industry that could be worth trillions of dollars one day. Thanks to going public via a SPAC merger, IonQ raised a substantial amount of cash. This gives them a runway of several years to continue funding their operations and hitting their technical milestones without needing to immediately go back to the market for more money. This financial stability is a huge advantage in a capital-intensive industry. It allows them to focus on the science and engineering without the constant pressure of near-term fundraising. As an investor, you want to see a company with enough cash in the bank to execute its vision. And right now, IonQ appears to be in a relatively strong position compared to some of its smaller private competitors. Looking at the long-term vision, IonQ has laid out a very ambitious and public-facing roadmap. They use a metric they call algorithmic qubits or number AQ, which is their way of measuring the true computational power of their systems, taking into account both the number of qubits and their error rates. Their roadmap projects a steady exponential increase in number AQ over the coming years, with the goal of developing fault-tolerant quantum computers that can tackle large-scale commercial problems. This transparency is fantastic because it allows us as investors to track their progress against their own stated goals. If they continue to hit or exceed these milestones, it will build tremendous confidence in their ability to execute on their long-term vision. So, what's the bottom line on IonQ? This is a high-risk, high-reward investment in a company that is a leader in a very promising area of quantum computing. The trapped ion approach has some fundamental advantages in terms of stability and scalability. Their cloud-first strategy and strategic partnerships are intelligently designed to accelerate adoption and build a commercial ecosystem. While they are still burning cash, they have a solid balance sheet and a clear, ambitious roadmap. If you believe in the future of quantum computing and are willing to take on the risk for a shot at exponential returns, IonQ is a company that absolutely needs to be on your radar. For our fourth pick on the list, Quantum Computing Inc. Sar, ticker QUBT is taking a smart, capital-efficient approach. Instead of building expensive hardware, they focus on quantum software and algorithms. It's a classic picks and shovels play in the quantum gold rush. QUBT builds the software bridge between quantum mechanics and real-world business problems. Their tools let non-experts harness quantum power. No PhD required. This makes their business model scalable and revenue-friendly. They're hardware agnostic, creating a universal language for all quantum systems. QUBT is building the operating system for the quantum future. So, how exactly is QUBT making quantum computing accessible, 
Their flagship product is a software platform called Catalyst. And no, that's not a typo, it's Q-A-T-A-L-Y-S-T. This is the core of their strategy. Catalyst is designed to take complex optimization problems from various industries, think logistics, financial modeling, drug discovery, you name it, and find the best way to solve them using a combination of classical and quantum computers. This is what's known as a hybrid approach, and it's incredibly practical. It doesn't force a company to go all in on quantum. Instead, it intelligently routes the parts of a problem that are best suited for quantum processing to a quantum computer, while the rest is handled by traditional machines. This hybrid model is genius because it meets businesses where they are today. Most companies aren't ready to rip and replace their entire IT infrastructure for a full quantum stack. It's just not realistic. What they can do, however, is use a tool like Catalyst to start experimenting with quantum solutions for very specific high-value problems. For example, a shipping company could use it to solve a ridiculously complex vehicle routing problem to save millions in fuel costs, or a financial firm could use it to optimize a trading portfolio to a degree that was previously impossible. Catalyst serves as that perfect entry point, showing tangible ROI without demanding a massive upfront commitment. Furthermore, QUBT's focus is on what are known as constrained optimization problems. This is a huge category of challenges that businesses face every single day. It's all about finding the best possible outcome given a specific set of rules or limitations. Think about an airline trying to schedule its entire fleet of planes, pilots and crew, while accounting for maintenance, regulations, and layovers. That's a constrained optimization problem. By providing ready-to-use quantum algorithms for these types of problems, QUBT is not selling a vague, futuristic promise. They are selling a specific solution to a known business pain point, which is a much easier proposition. This focus on practical application is what sets them apart. They're not just publishing academic papers, they're building commercial software designed to be used by enterprise customers. They have already demonstrated the ability to solve problems for companies in areas like logistics, cybersecurity, and imaging. By positioning themselves as the go-to provider for quantum-ready software solutions, QUBT is building a business that can grow in lockstep with the broader quantum industry. Investing in QUBT is a high-risk, high-reward play in the quantum software space. The stock is volatile, but if QUBT becomes the Microsoft or Oracle of quantum, the upside could be huge. Their SaaS model means lower capital expenditures and recurring revenue, something Wall Street loves. The main risks? Competition and execution. But as a complement to hardware investments, QUBT helps diversify your quantum portfolio. It's a strategic way to capture the explosive potential of quantum software. All right, for our fifth and final pick, we are taking a completely different approach. We are moving away from the pure play high-risk startups and looking at an established blue-chip industrial behemoth that has quietly become a dominant force in the quantum computing world. I'm talking about Honeywell International, ticker symbol HON. Now, I know what you're thinking. Honeywell? The company that makes thermostats and jet engines? And yes, that's them. But what many people don't realize is that Honeywell has been leveraging its deep expertise in physics, materials science, and complex control systems to build one of the most powerful quantum computers on the planet. This is what makes Honeywell such a compelling and, frankly, safer way to invest in the quantum revolution. You're not just buying a speculative quantum startup, you're buying a piece of a highly diversified, profitable, dividend-paying company with a market cap in the hundreds of billions of dollars. The quantum computing division is just one part of their massive portfolio, which includes aerospace, building technologies, and performance materials. This means that while the quantum division is working towards its long-term goals, the rest of the company is generating massive, stable cash flow. It provides a level of stability that you simply cannot find in the smaller quantum players. Honeywell's entry into quantum isn't just a side project, it's a serious, well-funded strategic initiative. They are leveraging their decades of experience in creating the complex vacuum chambers, lasers, and control electronics needed for their trapped ion quantum computers. This is a huge competitive advantage. While startups have to build this expertise from scratch, Honeywell has it in its corporate DNA. They've been solving some of the world's toughest engineering challenges for over a century, and they're bringing that same industrial-grade rigor to the world of quantum computing. This isn't a garage startup. This is a heavyweight industrial champion stepping into the ring. Their strategy is also incredibly smart. They're not just building the hardware, they're also developing the full stack, including the operating system, software, and cloud accessibility in partnership with other tech giants. In late 2021, they merged their quantum division with a leading quantum software company, Cambridge Quantum, to form a new standalone company called Quantinuum. Honeywell remains the largest shareholder, with a majority stake. 
This move combined their best-in-class hardware with top-tier software, creating a vertically integrated quantum powerhouse overnight. So when you invest in HON, you are getting exposure to this incredibly powerful combined entity. Let's dive a little deeper into Quantinuum, because this is really the heart of Honeywell's quantum strategy. This merger was a brilliant move. It immediately created a company with a global presence, a team of nearly 400 scientists and engineers, and a clear path to commercialization. Quantinuum is focused on accelerating the development of quantum computing and the discovery of quantum applications across various sectors, including chemistry, cybersecurity, finance, and optimization. By having both hardware and software under one roof, they can co-design them to work together perfectly, which can lead to huge performance gains. Quantinuum is building on Honeywell's pioneering work in trapped ion quantum computers. This is the same underlying technology that IonQ uses, but Honeywell's approach has some unique advantages. They have consistently set industry records for quantum volume, which is a metric that measures the overall power and performance of a quantum computer. For a while there, it seemed like every few months they were announcing that they had once again built the world's most powerful quantum computer. This demonstrates their rapid pace of innovation and their mastery over this incredibly complex technology. They are not just participating, they are leading the pack in terms of raw performance. The trapped ion approach itself has several key benefits that make it very attractive for building large-scale, fault-tolerant quantum computers. The qubits, which are individual charged atoms, are all identical and are held in place by electromagnetic fields. This allows for very high fidelity operations, meaning the calculations are less prone to errors, which is the biggest challenge in quantum computing right now. Furthermore, the architecture allows for all-to-all -all connectivity, meaning any qubit can interact directly with any other qubit in the system. This is a massive advantage for running complex algorithms efficiently, something that is very difficult to achieve with other types of quantum hardware. By investing in Honeywell, you get the benefit of this leading-edge technology without the single point of failure risk of a startup. The success of the company doesn't solely depend on Quantinuum hitting its ambitious roadmap on schedule. The mothership, Honeywell International, provides the financial stability and the long-term vision to see this project through. They can afford to invest for the decade-long horizon that this technology requires. It's patient capital, backed by real-world engineering prowess, and that's a powerful combination that is very hard for any startup to compete with, no matter how much venture capital they raise. Why should Honeywell, a seemingly boring industrial stock be on your quantum technology watch list? It's a unique blend of growth and stability, a core holding with a quantum kicker. You get exposure to quantum's upside, but with the safety of a world-class industrial company and a reliable dividend. If Quantinuum succeeds, Honeywell wins big. If not, the company remains strong. For long-term investors, Honeywell is a smart, balanced bet on the future of technology. The quantum revolution is here, and real companies like D-Wave, Regetti, IonQ, Quantum Computing Inc., and Honeywell are leading the way. Investing now could be like buying internet stocks in the 90s, rare high-potential opportunities. Do your research, know your risk, and consider diversifying across these innovators. Which quantum stock do you think has the most long-term potential? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more investing insights. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.